Hey guys, welcome to the morning schedule for May 7th, day 52. So, looks like it's a lot nicer outside today than it was yesterday. It was a lot of rain. But, here's what we got today. Uh, morning schedule, we'll talk about some math questions here in just a minute. Um, thank you, Mr. Hacker, for the frog. That's what the animal I chose this morning. Uh, I'll do words of the day in a short writing prompt. Um, I think we're going to do some uh, uh, descriptive writing. It'll, it'll make sense in a minute. It's pretty fun. Uh, Zoom at 10. Uh, work choices are going to be similar to what we've been doing in the past. Uh, remember, there's all the assignments I post, and this week's uh, projects can be big or small. Uh, the projects this week are ancient civilizations. So, lots you can do there. Um, I'll post the read aloud in a little bit. Um, day in history. I forgot what day in history is, but I'll know soon. And then we're done. So it's already Thursday. I know, it's crazy. Okay, so here we go. Let's do some math. Let me turn this around. I don't even know if I'm gonna need it, but I might. We'll see. Okay. So remember, I'm taking practice questions from, uh, or I'm taking SBAC practice questions, and we're just gonna talk through them real quick. So even if you can't see over here, it's totally fine. But let's take a look at the fourth grade one. Can you see the model here? So what we have is we've got four fraction models. Now, if you remember, we don't we use the circle fractions mostly, but these are just square ones. So if we look at this fraction model here, we have one, two, three, four, and if we look, one of them is filled in. Okay? Oh wait. Here. There's more than four there. We have two, four, six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so one of these is filled in, okay, which would be a fraction of one sixth. And then if I have another one down here, one, two, three, four, five, two are filled in, so it's two sixths. Now, we also have two more, which are 12. So my black pen's finally running out. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, so this one is two twelfths and four twelfths. Now, the question is, is which of these statements can be supported by the fraction model? I gotta get a different color. So the first one is two sixths equals four twelfths. Now, is that statement true? It is, right? Does our fraction model support it? Two sixths is equal to four twelfths. It is, okay. Good, so we're gonna give this a check mark. The next one is two twelfths is equal to four twelfths. Well, we know that's not true. How can two twelfths equal four twelfths? We're gonna cross that one off, okay? Next one, two sixths is greater than one sixth. Is that true? It is, right? Two sixths is greater than one sixth. Does the model support it? Two sixths is greater than one sixth. Okay, score. Okay, last one. Two twelfths is greater than two sixths. Well, is two twelfths greater than one sixth? Let's see. Two twelfths is right here. Two sixths doesn't work. Okay, so fourth grade. Today, fourth graders and fifth or sixth graders, if you want. Practice making fraction models like this. Um, you can use circles, you can use squares, you can use graph paper, and just practice some um, equivalence and some greater than less than. Okay, let's take a look at fifth grade. Right. Here we go. Okay, this says which expression correctly shows the sum of the product of nine and five and the difference of 24 and six. Now, the reason I put this up is because I want you to practice reading sentence, uh, math sentences. Now, 
which expression correctly shows the sum of a product. Sum is what? Addition, right? So the sum of the product of nine and five. The sum of the product. Whew. So the product of nine and five, it would be nine times five, right? Because product is multiplication, okay? The sum, ah, we're gonna have a plus sign and the difference between 24 and six, okay? 24, the difference between 24 and six, whew, 24 and six, because remember difference is subtraction. So we really had to think this through. We had to realize what product meant. Product was our times. Our sum is our addition and our difference is negative. So the answer would be nine times five plus 24 minus six, which is B. Practice writing some number sentences today. Just do a couple, okay? Now, the last one for sixth graders is coordinate planes. I know, I know. You guys know how to do coordinate planes. You know how to plot them. But the question here and the question here, they want to know, I'll see how fast I can do this. They want to know the difference between A and C. They want to know how far it is between A and C. Okay, three. Now what this means is that you're gonna have to do some uh, work with uh, positive and negative numbers, okay? The difference, if I count over, and this is actually a really good way to practice positive and negative numbers, is to count over. I'm at negative two, okay? So, so here's one, two, and then I'm at positive three. One, two, three. So the difference is the two plus the three, which is five. Even though this is negative, they just wanna know the distance. So, sixth graders, work on some uh, coordinate planes. I want you to find the difference, or I want you to find the distance between points, okay? Put one up here, put one over here. One here, one here. See what you can do. Okay, I'll see you guys for words of the day.